right, so I told you guys on my Facebook page that I was gonna do a video on our van update, on getting our new van. And this is the one that we ended up going with. It's a 12 passenger van. It has a step guard for me to be able to get into. It has a step guard on this side too. So when we pick up my mom, she's able to get in and then it has the grab bar up there also. Um, some of the features that we wanted to get were the tinted windows. Um, we had got brand new tires with this van and what else? Um, when I got home from purchasing it, I had um, sensors in the back that notified me um, when I was backing up like distance wise. So that's a added bonus to the van just because it is so big. But our other one was a 12 passenger too. So this one is a 12 passenger. The other one just had a lot of issues and stuff with it that we needed to either get fixed or just needed to get a new one. So this is what the front looks like. I will bring you guys inside and show you the inside. Um, we've only had it for, I think like three days now. So it's not like the kids took over the van and it's uh, trashed yet. <laughs> So I'll we'll show you the inside. I did end up purchasing a little seat um, for me and Lauren just because I was able to drive it. I didn't have a problem driving it, but I wasn't really able to see over the steering wheel just because I'm so short. So I added this to it that wasn't included. In our other van, we didn't have a lot of storage area. So this one has three cups for us to have drinks in and then bigger size for like traveling cups. So that worked out really good for us. And then inside here, I just put some Kleenexes in there for right now, but I wanna get some um, safety stuff and like band-aids and ointment and like hand warmers and stuff for the winter. So I'm gonna probably update during uh, season wise, just so I have everything in here. Uh, right now I just have my uh, sunglasses right here because we don't have any clips up on our visor yet so I need to get some of them this is what it looks like for the front part um, I don't know if eventually we're going to take this out and maybe get a different radio system we're I don't know what we're going to do with that yet but otherwise um, these close up if you don't want to use the vents there and all my controls and stuff are right here uh what other thing do they have um we have our charging port and then another line in um plug in there coin thing and then just a little extra maybe put a notepad in here or something in here that you want to carry around um i got a vent right here that closes up light system uh blinker and then um in here this is where it'll notify me when I'm backing up if I get too close to something. So I don't have a screen or like anything that like talks to me, showing me, it just beeps when that happens. All right, so in front of my seat, it's just kind of like a smaller area. It's not like full size. So down on the ground there, we're eventually gonna get some mats for there. I did pick some up, but they ended up being too big just cause it's a smaller area. I am able to almost stand up in here just because I am so short. I have our diaper bag in here. I have a ladder in here so my mom can get in. And then um, there's a pocket on this side. So do two different pockets on this side if we need to pack anything in there. Here is the glove compartment and we don't have anything in there really. We have a car seat thing in there and then the lighter thing in there just because we won't be using that. So that's all we have in there for right now just because we just got everything in. So what I ended up doing is going to Walmart and purchasing a washable like non um, or a grippy I don't even know what they even call these but you can use them in your kitchen or on your cabinets or in your cabinets just it's like a non-skid um, placement thing and I wanted to put something in here that match so this is pretty 
the closest thing that I could find to match uh, the color inside. And a lot of times we have kids that either fall asleep in their car seats and then end up either like peeing through their diaper or whatever. And I didn't want the seats to be ruined underneath. The people that I had it before didn't really um, use the seats in here because she took them all out for um, a business that she uh, needed them out for. So the seats are really nice. I didn't want to ruin them, so I wanted to put something underneath their seats. So over here, Nash sits right in the middle. Evelyn sits and Lachlan sits right there. Evelyn, we turned around, uh, face forward to try it out. Um, the size wise to how much she weighs is um, accurate to being face forward. So we went and just turned her around right away. Before in our other van, we had her over here and then Nash and Lachlan were sitting together. Well, that didn't really work personality wise. So we separated them and I think that's just gonna work out much nicer with them guys sitting separate. So when you walk in from the side doors right there, it would be the little ones up front next to me. And then I went and purchased two booster seats because the seats that we had before were kind of outdated. So, and Declan was still in a car seat and he's gonna be seven. He just needed a booster seat. So I used the remaining piece of um, liner for his seat and then I wanna go get another one for Miles, just so that it doesn't uh, wear and tear from his car seat. So they both have the same car seat and then it has a safety strap on the side there for um, their seatbelt so it doesn't like dig in their neck. So that is there. Um, they have like a little, let's see here if I can open it up. They have a cup holder, which we don't always have our kids eat and drink in our vehicles. So we don't know how much they would be using that. Um, they have a storage basket down here, which is nice for coloring books and different activities that they want to store in there. Um, and that's just an ashtray, which I'm not, they can maybe store some like Legos or something in there if they want to do it that way. All right, so Hudson is gonna sit in this spot right here just because he gets sick a little bit, so we don't want him in the far back spot. And then all the way back here is um, Gage and Eli's spot. So this is a full back. It has four seats here, and um, Gage sits over there with the strap protector on it just because um, a lot of you maybe don't know, but he had open heart surgery when he was 10 and he doesn't like the strap like rubbing on his chest. So he uses one of them. Um, and then I'm going to come this way. So we have all the car seats. Lauren likes to um, triple strap them car seats down. So he uses all like the metal pieces down below to keep them strapped in. So that's why we have it like that. And I would love to have an organizer back there, but it doesn't have any head, um, like head seats or whatever. So I can't like strap it around. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can maybe put some seat organizers on there without having the guard, the like kind of like up, up there, like I could put some up there for the little ones maybe, but not, not back here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, the straps that are on the ground, Lauren wants me to put some Velcro on them so that they don't trip and fall on the straps. So we're gonna Velcro them up. Uh, let's see, so they have a walkway right here. It's a little smaller than our van that we had because ours was an extended cab. Um, so back here is where we would put like our groceries and stuff like that. So it's you know, big enough for us to get everything in, just not as big as our other one. And I'll show you guys what our other one looked like too, just so you guys can compare what we what we kind of are upgrading to. So and that's what it looks like back here. There's just, that speaker has a little bit of dent in it. This is what it looks like. Not sure why this is open. He must be just looking in there to make sure that um, we have everything that we need. All right. So one of the vents is broke right there. This one has a little bit of uh, wear and tear on there, but these are okay. 
so that's fine and then the little ones have um some up by them also and that'll work our other van had a little tv thing in it uh this one doesn't i'm not sure if we're gonna put one in or we can maybe get some um ones that go on the back of the headboards here or the head seats here that might work just get two together and they can watch the same video so i'm not sure what we're gonna do about that but that's a thought so one of the things that i did and i'm gonna maybe either get another one or a couple of them i'm not quite sure yet so let's see here what i did is i went to walmart and i bought two of these just little plastic uh containers i want to be able to have bags in here in case anybody gets sick i want to get some paper towel in here i got some kleenex in here wipes in here um i'm sure we'll end up getting another maybe like two or three of these so that we can put like activities in here or extra clothes or things that you might not think that you need that you do so maybe some towels in here washcloths extra water bottles or um just odds and ends that i can't put up in the glove compartment that i would just add to these buckets and they fit right underneath the seat so that's um the big kids one and then i have for the little kids i ended up packing two kleenexes here some more walmart bags um some more wipes diapers for evelyn these i think for evelyn even though we have a diaper bag i might end up buying her something that i can just put like a little uh, purse bag together that'll have her diapers some extra wipes um maybe some like extra clothes in like a little bag out here not that they're the diapers are just sitting out here getting dirty um from the kids shoes and stuff like that so i'll think of um i'll think of something with that but i really do want to get her something extra that we can pack up and put in here so this just kind of goes right underneath here and that fits perfect underneath there i would put it right here but i want to keep this ladder here so that's going to go there and then the back here is what i was talking about putting an organizer in here so i'm thinking that will that'll work and then back here also they also have the same thing so cup holder storage um and they can put like their ds in there or coloring books or activity books that they want to bring along um but other than that i want to try to keep it as clean as possible um i know we want to get some uh running mats here too just because uh in winter or wet days this is going to start getting really really dirty so i want to get something for that and then we would have to get one for here and then one behind this seat also so we have enough seat belts enough seats for all the kids i think we have uh one extra spot no two ex two extra seats so if i have to pick up my um granddaughters or whatever then i have some extra rooms for some extra kids or extra people so that's pretty much the tour of our van hopefully you guys like that i will show you guys our other van so you can kind of compare what we what we upgraded to so other than that that's pretty much that's pretty much it so we're super excited about it just because um we needed something a little bit better than what we were driving okay so this is what we were driving it's kind of rusting away there we've had it for a while um almost five years we got it from a friend that had a lot of kids and they needed to upgrade because they were traveling um so we were able to get this for pretty cheap and This is also a 12 passenger. Um, Lauren took out the seats because we're doing some stuff in that yard right now. We're trying to get the coops and um, stuff together. So he took out all the seats and is using it right now for just storing um, what he needs right now. And then work-wise is using it also. So this is what it looks like. 
inside. We had one door over there that wouldn't open. And that was pretty much it. We just had some um, like driving issues with it. So um, that's why we needed to upgrade. That looks like. And then with this one, it is a longer version. So we had a big like storage area in back versus the one that we have right now. So this one doesn't, our other one that we just got doesn't have a lot of storage in it like this one did. Um, so let's see. Let's get something different.